I'm quite a fan of the high roof on the camper vans and have a bed in the roof. And we're gonna have a look now at some of these uh, solutions from Purcell. This is the Purcell Concorde Compact. This camper van is only 541 centimeters in length. Uh, it can be on the Fiat Ducato or the Citroen Jumper, uh, 205 centimeters in width, 312 in height. And inside, there's a, a, a the maximum, of course, there is 245 centimeters standing height. So you're gonna have to be a sort of a giraffe or something uh, before you have to bend your, bend your neck a bit. Uh, so it weighs 2,823 kilos and uh, that's ready to go. So you're probably be looking at around the, you know, 700, let's say, kilos of uh, payload because that, that, that obviously does include a little bit there of fuel and we don't really know how much the driver's going to weigh. Um, the the uh, 60 litre fridge with a uh, three litre freezer compartment. Let's have a look inside. Uh, cost 48,000. Uh, this one is 56 and a half thousand euros now uh, what's curious here is the name concord concord is of course a luxury manufacturer of motorhomes uh, builds rather large things but like many of these luxury mo mo motorhome manufacturers it started out doing camper vans and the uh, personal uh, camper van or the the Concord uh, Purcell Concord camper van comes from Purcell buying the or acquiring I should say the license to actually use the name in this van so this van I presume has been on the go for oh a very long time at least uh, 30 years I would suggest um, I, I don't quite know how old it is but uh, it has been on the go for a very long time that's where the name Concord. Now, one of the things is here though, is they don't sell a great deal of these and they have a quality of manufacturing, which uh, I would say it's probably better than that of the uh, standard personal vans, for example. Okay, three, uh, three rings on the uh, Dometic, uh, uh, what do you call that there, stove? <laughs> One thing here, the, the sink, good shape. You've also got space there for pr food preparation. Now, down there, you've got the fridge. I'll put the kitchen stove top back. There's a warning there not to use it for, uh, for heating. And have a look down here. It's okay, it's a small fridge. It's a small van. It's a small van, but it's got a big kitchen top. So, uh, what you've got here, of course, uh, or you can imagine, is that this will convert into a bed. Now, you may think that the uh, bench is, uh, rear bench is a complete waste of time in such a small van. Well, we'll have a look at the ways which you don't have to have a bench in here. Uh, let's come to the very back. There's the toilet. First time uh, I went to Caravan Salon in 2012 and I saw a, 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 a the, the, the toilet uh, with the end of back of a van. I thought that was a bit of a joke, but uh, uh, now I absolutely appreciate why it's here. Okay, this, this, the shower is such... Um, I'm going to mirror the shower. What you're, I have on the side, so you can see how... There's me in the shower. Look at all this space we've got to potentially use. So there's plenty of room in here. Uh, and there's the there's there's even the shower curtain here. Um, the sink has been molded. That's a feature you normally get only in uh, uh, some more luxurious vans, sort of liners and things of that nature. I'm sure you also there's the that's the toilet bench toilet and up here we've got and I shall show you there's storage plenty of storage there space hooks for your uh, towels right the bed is up here so that will come down 
people ask me to show them how the bed comes down. There you go. The bed is now down. But there's one thing I do now want to demonstrate is this. Look how much space there is below. So if this here will turn into a bed as well. So if there's three of you, perhaps even four, that you can actually travel. In a van, this has a footprint not much greater than that of a car. Not much greater, it is greater, it's 205 centimeters in width, but all the same, there's quite a lot of room. But uh, more the point is this, is I'm now walking out. Okay, my head's ducked, but I've got standing height under it and I've certainly got sitting height. I can sit down there, continue drinking, whilst those who are unable to continue drinking are asleep up there. Uh, the back, you can see where the uh, um, temperature controls are. You've got a Truma heating and the likes, and you've got uh, storage all the way round. So, what about uh, having a look at other options on this general idea? Well, we've got this thing here, which is the two win Vario from Purcell. Uh, a vehicle, again, which has been on the go for quite a few years. And this thing here, look how high it is. And I've used the word cathedral in the past because the cathedrals are quite high. This will cost, there you are, 57,294. Starting price is 49 and a half. And this vehicle, six meters long or two, well, no, two millimeters short or six meters, 205 by 312 once more. So there's an extra uh, uh, half a meter plus uh, on this vehicle. Okay, so this doesn't have the bed here. This will not turn into a bed. Uh, the bed is up there. But you do have a bed at the back. Here, very similar. shower here in the middle I know that these things may look quite cumbersome lots of people say that these showers look cumbersome but uh, as a way of getting a largest toilet and shower in a 205 centimeter wide vehicle particularly considering you've got some of the kitchen stuff on the other side it's a pretty good idea in my opinion double bed at the back I'll uh, have a look at some of the features coming around here. So the window there is optional. You can also have a, as an option, you can have a window in one of, one of these two sides. But look once more at the amount of storage that you've got. Fridge here. Storage below. And once more, you can see where the bed goes to. You can sit under the bed very easily. Uh, to get up to the bed, there's a ladder, and uh, if you don't fancy pulling yourself up into it. Okay, so there's yet another option, which is here. It's the Vario 545. I might have to start shouting because I can hear a, um, a uh, what do you call it, a hoover's about to start. Okay, 59,500 uh, euros, I get a 50,000 kickoff price. We've added these things here. Most expensive, all in packet. What's this? And the color, uh, um, the, the, the paintwork. Um, so this one is 541, 205 by 312. Compressor fridge inside. There's the, uh, uh, it hasn't got the bench that was in there. Makes more sense, I think. We have got up there, there's a, there's a toilet in the shower, but there's bunks in the back. And it could be that, for example, you wouldn't want the bunks in the back. As I understand, there's people who are kite surfers or surfers or whatever. They use the back for storing their stuff in. As if this were mine, I would possibly uh, want this to be used for, I don't know, I'd probably make a wardrobe or something in, I think. You see lots, lots and lots of space here as well. Um, toilet has a cover on it 
really good use of space and once more same sort of shower as we saw in the other vehicle. So that is, I, mean, I really, uh, uh, I do, I think this is a great shape. I mean, maybe for living in, it's not quite big enough. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe I could live in it. At the end of the day, there's plenty of storage there in the back and I could get my bicycle uh, in the back as well. Now this swings out. And you've got a good idea where the, the bed goes down to. Great, so there we have uh, three vehicles with high roofs and beds in the roof. So, as I'm gonna have to compete with the carpet sweeper, uh, or the, the, the Hoover, I don't think I'll go on any longer. I hope you found that of interest. If you get any benefit, please do consider supporting me on Patreon, and I hope you are already subscribed. Thank you.